Hello, I'm Lex, and I'm going to introduce you to the art of the serve. These are some serving exercises we've developed with Coach Art, my father, and we're going to use Sophia today as an example. All of the exercises that I'm going to introduce you to this morning are whole body integrated movements. This will help us to develop a fluid throwing motion with our serves. And the first, I'm going to use the bow staff, and we're going to use it to warm up and to keep our elbow up and to create a figure eight motion at the end of the serve flowing right into the next serve. So our first exercise is going to utilize the bow staff and we're going to teach a whole body integrated fluid serving motion. We're going to use the tip of the staff as though it's the racket head and we're going to start our continuous motion up into the serve, continue into a figure eight, back into the load, up into the serve, into a figure eight, load, throw the shoulder and the hip. Okay, so we're going to use the bow staff to get the wrist loose and to warm up the serve and keep the elbow up. Sophia has a continental grip with an extended trigger finger so that she can manipulate the racket head. And the most important thing is here is to have supple fingers. Let's begin our service motion. We're gonna start with a service motion and continue into a second service motion with a figure eight motion at the end. Note that Sophia is loading the hip at the beginning. The hip load, shoot, twist the hip at the end. Hip load, shoot, head up. Let's elongate contact with shoulder over shoulder. Excellent. Shoulder over shoulder. A completely extended left arm. Our second exercise, which is also part of our warm up, is the walking serve. We're going to begin with an eastern backhand grip for the serve and start in the position of choice, which is an individual thing, as to how you begin your service motion. We're going to begin with our feet shoulder width, with a slight tilt of our feet our hands in our choice of our starting position with the serve and we're going to start by walking onto our dominant foot and then ending up on our non-dominant foot in our serving position. Total balance into a figure eight motion and the next serve. So we're going to start with the walking serve with Sophia. She's going to start in an open stance ready position, has the eastern backhand grip, and starts in the position in which she starts her serve. Figure eight at the end of the motion, turn in the back hip, load the hip and shoot, and turn. Reach up. Typically we do this exercise with 9 to 12 balls so that the student can get into a real flow and rhythm. As we progress closer to the net, we use more and more wrist in order to keep the ball in the box. We continue to shoot our hip and rotate through. Maintain perfect balance because of a perfect toss. We use the art of the serve system and the next exercise we enter in in that system is the inverted serve. This helps students to get their shoulder out in front and utilizing the dominant hip. We start off by pointing both feet towards the net post with the right foot slightly in front of the left if you're a right-hander or the left in front of the right. Because of the fixed position of your feet in this service exercise, a player has to develop a perfect toss. Therefore, they are tossing to the rhythm of their service motion as opposed to developing a serve which is based on the rhythm of their toss.
The next tool we utilize in teaching the art of the serve is an Indian club. We use this in order to develop a continuous flowing serve and a large circular throwing motion. I will demonstrate a few serves so that you can see how the weight which is in the head of the Indian club helps students to create a large full service motion. The weight will take the racket head back, drop and release the energy up. We collect energy, store it and then release. We collect energy, store it and then release into a continuous figure eight motion. Once again it's to be noted that we begin the motion with an eastern serving grip, an eastern backhand grip on the serve so that after we have collected the energy we can store it and maintain the proper wrist position until we release it. Sophia is going to show a few service motions using the Indian club. We prefer to start out using this as opposed to a racket because the weight of the club head forces us to drop the racket head down and then release the energy upwards into the serve. You really get a feel for the weight and the energy being in the racket head. Excellent. Note that we always maintain proper balance throughout the exercise, shooting the hip, twisting the back hip, but maintaining our balance.